Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to continue on our lesson from last time where we looked at creating a uh, floor plan for a simple one bedroom condo. As you can see here, I've already laid down some flooring, a little bit of paint on the walls, nice pastel colors, looking nice and bright and vibrant. Excellent. So what we're going to go for today is we're going to design uh, maybe just like a simple refrigerator here, maybe a sink for our place. And I'm going to show you how to uh, make that furniture into a group move it into your house and rotate it so it fits nicely. So let's get started. Um, whenever, do, whenever you're doing furniture design, don't worry about getting overly complicated. Just keep it nice and simple. I'm looking for your use of space here and uh, less about uh, the overall detail in your objects. And uh, when you're creating your objects, make sure you keep your person here as a point of reference, but we can always scale the objects bigger and smaller and we'll kind of go over that today. So I'm gonna start by drawing just a basic footprint down here on the ground for our refrigerator and then go to the pull tool and we will raise that up. So have a little look at your person, see how the sizing is doing. That's not too bad. Maybe just bring it up a touch. That looks pretty good. Okay, so we have a box, congratulations. Uh, next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding a little bit more details to this box. So I don't know about you, but I always prefer the refrigerators where the freezer is on the bottom. That looks pretty good there. So we draw the freezer door. Let's just pull it out a notch there. And let's add a nice big pull handle on that freezer. Lovely. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, next, let's go and draw the double door. So make sure it's lined up with that. And that looks good. Go to the line tool. And let's bisect this. Okay, perfect. And then let's pull this out. Let's match the depth of that. Looking good. Okay. And now let's draw the pull handles for the fridge doors. Looks good. Push and pull. And let's just raise them up one notch. There, it's not too bad, a little refrigerator. Granted, it could also be a bureau or a wardrobe you could put in your bedroom. I guess it depends how you paint it. So let's just give it a real quick paint job here. So I've gone over to the paint bucket tool and let's go over to metal. Let's have a nice stainless look here on our fridge. Oh, ever so popular. Got to love it. Get the sides. Get these sides, looks good. And then let's go in to put a little bit of a, a darker metal on the handles for a bit of contrast. Okay, excellent. So we've made create a very basic fridge now, and the next step you might think would be to move it in the house. So you'd go over and grab that move tool. And as you can see, that's not really working as intended. Okay, let's press Control Z to get that back. Uh, and that's because this is not actually a, a unified object. It's just a collection of faces, edges, and vertex uh, moved around to create the shape of a fridge. So what we need to do is we need to group this object so SketchUp recognizes it as one solid object. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the selection tool up here. We're going to left click and we're going to drag a box over the fridge. It's okay if you get too much, uh, if you get some extra space, but don't overlap anything. Otherwise, it'll make those selections as well. So that's covering the entire fridge and nothing else. I'm going to let go. Then we're going to right click on the object and we're going to go down to make group. Okay, so now this is one object. So if we actually go to move it now, it'll move as one piece. So let's just go to a reasonably up-down view. Let's move our fridge over, rotate our camera. I think I want to put it on this wall here. So we'll put it against the wall. And of course, we have the problem here now that the fridge is facing the wrong direction. Don't worry, really easy fix. With the move tool still selected, hover over the top, and you're going to see these little red arrows that are going to appear. Hold down, left click on one of those, and then you can rotate the fridge. Excellent. Slide it back into the wall. And there you go, pretty good. So one thing you'll notice is like, uh-oh, I forgot to paint that top section there. What we can actually do now is if we right click on this again, we can go to edit group. It's gonna isolate this group. We can go back in, paint these individual portions. Zoom in here to get the top of that. Go to this darker metal seam, finish those off, get the sides. Don't really need to finish this all right now, just proving a point, all good. 
we're all done. Just double click to get out of that group. Excellent, so now we have a fridge inside of our house. That looks pretty good. So next, uh, let's make a uh, let's make a vanity, right? You know, like the old sink um, cupboard combo there. So same thing. Gonna start with the fridge, just like I did with the fridge. I'm gonna make just a rectangle on the ground. Let's pull that up. Let's, let's ignore that install warning, and let's go back to the push and pull tool. Java wants me to update. I'll do that again later. All right, I think I'm gonna make that a little bit taller. Just a bit too tall. That looks pretty good. It's a bit too wide, so let's push it in. Nice. Okay. So first, let's draw the uh, the cupboards that you'll see on the vanity, and we'll draw maybe double doors here at the bottom. Go back to the line tool, and let's bisect this shape we've made, and let's pull those out just a hair, and then let's go back and make our pull handles. Zoom in a little bit more here. That's better. Good. Let's pull those out just a notch. Oh, that's too much. Excellent. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll draw this. You know how these vanities have that like fake door at the front because you actually can't put a drawer here due to the sink, but it's just there for show. So let's just make it as well for show. There we go. And then, I mean, you could always put the fake handle here if you wanted to. But it's not actually going to do anything. But anyways, just for looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, once again, that could also be a nightstand if you wanted to bring that to the bedroom. Uh, but if we wanted to make this to the vanity, uh, let's go ahead and now draw the sink. So I'm just going to go for the rectangle tool again. And just to make things simple, we're just going to do a nice rectangular sink. A little bit harder to clean, but I personally like that style. And then let's just push that sink in a little bit. Okay, looking good. And let's go draw just a simple faucet now for that sink. Now, I prefer those waterfall-style faucets. Let's see if we can make one of those. Okay, it's boxy, but that's okay. Let's draw the spout. Oops, zoomed in too much there. All right, then we go to the move tool. We're gonna grab this top edge and let's just drag that down. Neat, that looks pretty good. You know, and then you could go around and you could just draw your pole handles. Raise those up, one notch, one notch. And that looks pretty good, not a bad little vanity. And now let's just paint it up. So uh, let's do some aluminum in the sink basin here. Do aluminum for the faucet. Rotate that camera around. Just get that side. Get that side there. And aluminum for the handles. And let's do a stone surface here for the countertop. So let's go to uh, what am I doing here? Guess we could do a brush concrete. Oh, no, let's do a stone. Let's do a nice marble. Oh yeah, that looks good. And uh, let me go for a darker granite if you prefer. I do like the lighter here, so let's go for a lighter granite. And then for the siding, let's go for a wood. Let's go for a nice cherry. I actually like that at all. Uh, maybe not a cherry. Maybe a nice veneer. Oh, that's better. Quite the uh, grain pattern in that veneer there. And you'll want to paint the sides all there, but we're not going to worry about that right now. And then let's just get those pull handles. Let's go over to metal. Nice seamed metal for the pull handles. All right, that looks pretty good. Not bad. Like I said, I missed those top areas, but who cares for now? Okay, so next thing, same steps. We're going to right click, left, hold down left click rather, with the selection tool up here. And hold down left click, drag, make it a group. Right click, make group. And now let's go to the move tool and let's move it into, that's our laundry room, I don't really want it there. Let's move it into our bathroom. Let's rotate it. And that looks pretty good. You know, so we'll put our toilet over there on that wall there. Um, but you know what? I like that vanity so much. Let's bring another one over here into the bedroom bathroom. So there's a couple ways we could do that. 
You could do it the fast way as I just did that there. In order to do that, you go to the Move tool, hover over the object, hold down the Control key, and just drag it over and that'll automatically make a copy of your object. Or, if you prefer, uh, let's just get rid of that one. You can always click on the object and then you just go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. And then you could uh, duplicate the object that way. But I prefer the uh, just Control click method a little bit faster. Easier to keep it in line there. Get a little closer to the wall there. Excellent. Okay, I think that's a good lesson for today. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Okay, thanks. Bye.